This week's word of the week is going to be undercut. Undercut is a uh, welding discontinuity. Uh, tolerances for it and codes are very small. That's a very important word to know in the welding industry. That's what our word of the week uh, is. We're pulling out uh, common terms used in the welding industry and we're stressing them so that uh, you know them for sure. And you don't because if you don't know what undercut is and somebody asks you, uh, you're going to look like a fool. So. Uh, we're going to read the definition. I got it over here. You can't really see it, but I'll, I'll read it. Uh, the definition for undercutting is a groove or crater that occurs near the toe of the weld. When the weld or when this weld flaw occurs, the weld metal fails to fill the groove area, resulting in a weak weld that is prone to cracking along the toes. So what does that mean? I actually do a little knock on the T-joint here. It's exploded, so it's really big. Uh, so this is the T-joint here. Uh, this is your fillet weld. And you can see there's a big indent right here at the top. That's your undercut. Uh, why would that get, or why, what causes undercut? We got the causes of lifting. This thing right here, can't talk. Uh, incorrect manipulation. So if you're weaving all over the place and you don't need to be, or you're not holding your edges long enough, or for whatever reason, um, that can cause undercut. Uh, current too high, you just basically, uh, the heat's too high and it's, it's cutting in on the edges. Excessive arc length, that can cause tons of problems. We all know what happens when you have an excessive arc length. I'm thinking like with a stick weld, uh, you have all kinds of flaws that can, that can happen. Porosity, uh, spatter, things like that. Um, travel speed too fast, what's going on there is you're not allowing it to fill into the edges there. So um, the causes, the fixes are basically the exact opposite of the causes here. Uh, reduce your current. So turn your current down, reduce your travel speed, allow it to fill in, tighten your arc length and change your electrode angle, change your manipulation, change what you're doing. Uh, so this is a very important uh, welding discontinu discontinuity to know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the D1.1 here, uh, structural steel welding code, and see how much of it you're actually allowed to have. And then we'll look at a couple of welds that I dug out of the uh, scrap bins, and we'll see how much um, undercut they have. I got a minor one and a major one. So uh, we'll go ahead and look at the D1.1 now. This is the Structural steel welding code, the criteria for a, a visual inspection before you go into your destructive testing. And you can see undercut shall not exceed 1 32nd of an inch. That is not very much. So if you're in school or you're on a job and you're going up to your uh, teacher or your uh, boss and you're, and you're complaining because they're complaining about undercut and your whole toe is full of undercut, you're not even close. It's 32nd of an inch. How big is a 32nd of an inch? I'm going to pull out a caliper and we'll show you exactly how big a 32nd of an inch is. This is a caliper opened up to a 32nd of an inch. This is a business card. So the business card, I can't even get it in, it's so small. It's just barely bigger than a business card. So it's not very much. So it's a big deal. You need to make sure you don't have undercut. You sure, surely need to know what it is. That's why we're doing this word of the week thing. You need to know what this stuff is. So we'll go ahead and we'll look at a couple of welds that I dug out of the scrap bin. One has minor undercut on it and one has major undercut on it. So we'll take a look at that now. This is a small little T-joint that we had a TIG weld done on. And you can see undercut minor labeled there with three little arrows. I'm going to try and zoom in on this, but it's so small it's very hard to tell. Let me try and zoom in and see what we can get here. This is the closest I can get to the, um, to the weld zoomed in without it getting blurry. And you can see right there on that top toe where those arrows are pointing there. There's some minor undercut there. It's not very much. And you got to remember this is really zoomed in. That's eighth of an inch thick material there. So that's a minor case of undercut, but it's it's unacceptable. It's not even close to a 32nd of an inch. So just that little bit will do it. Now we'll go to the one that I think is a major undercut, which you can't miss. I won't even have to zoom in on that one, but we'll go to that one next. This is our undercut that's a major case of undercut. I drew it on there with a Sharpie, and for some reason it, I don't know, somebody must have sprayed it with something or got it wet because it, it ran down. That's supposed to say undercut major. And the arrow is going over there to the left. But I'll zoom in on the undercut anyways and we can uh, get a closer look at it here. Need I say more? Look at that. 
It's deep undercut. It's just a really poor weld. It's not even close to making any kind of code quality weld here. So that's a, a major, major case of undercut. And I've seen a lot worse than that. Everybody has. So that's our word of the week, undercut. I don't know what we're going to do next. Week. We'll do something, but we'll have another word of the week next Sunday. For now, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. We're out.